everybody. Just wait for everybody to get in. Hey Greg, Jamie, hello Frederico, hello Jay. Hey Raymond, how you doing? Fantastic, okay. Okay, so I'm going to start, I'm going to do half an hour today, better go to pharmacy, I've got an abscess in my mouth and it's killing me. Okay, so I want to go over trade, Frederico's in the room, um, he put this, he traded this yesterday using the roller coaster and the bits, <clears throat> so first of all, I've just got the roller coaster and the early wave on here right now, so this is three minute on ES yesterday. Entry around 3095.75, bound support 3023. Great roller coaster, very small risk. Okay, so we, in the, in the grand scheme of things, this stop loss just above this pivot here and this entry, small risk. You know, it's one to one to this support level, but it put, if it pushed through, which it did, it comes back down. But look at the behavior in this. And then I'm going to inlay. The bits. So we've got a one-to-one -to, -one to this, which is not bad. Okay. Uh, so we get the entry. It comes in. Doesn't take the stop. We get the the uh, lower resistance level. Comes back down. Starts to print the trailing stops. Okay. Pushes through the resist the support zone. Sorry. Comes back up to take it. Test it as resistance. Did it push through? Then we start to come down, and we get this. Um, roller coaster ride all the way down here with the trading stops being printed all the way down. Perfect. But what about, I mean, today is about um, combining. So, what I want to do is I just want to put the bits on there. I'm going to have to go back in time, I think, now, because it might move. Okay, oh, here we go. So, now, this was that same move, but now we get a bit signal here to add to your position, okay? There was a, probably another one here on a different time frame. Okay, so on a two minute. So let me just go back on the other screen on the two minute second. Whoa. No, don't want M6E, I want ES. What's going off there? I think I'll swim doing some weird stuff. Bear with me, guys. You try and ask too much to think or so, and it just melts down. That's today. Yesterday. Okay. Three minute, we entered roller coaster. 
We pulled back up, we came to test this support zone. Guess what happened on the two minute? There was another roller coaster entry here. After it came down, it came back up to test. There was another roller coaster entry there as well. There was another bits entry there to add to your position. There was a bits entry here, okay? Remember, <clears throat> you're not gonna use the stop for the bits. The bits identifies increased volume contraction in price action. So good time to add to your short position. Remember we're tr at 3075, for example. Uh, remember we're trailing it with this, okay? So we had opportunities using the bits on the two minute, for example, to add uh, more here, okay? So we added more shorts. We had another opportunity, two minute, to add on another roller coaster short. Then we had a bits on the three minute and uh, the two minute to add more. Because once it starts to go, it really does go. And the next thing to hold it up is gonna be the support and resistance zone, okay? So really great looking trade. And Frederico traded this yesterday. So uh, great trade, Frederico. Really, really good. Combining the bits and the roller coaster fantastically there. Okay, let's get up to date with the S. So today's been a, uh, a weird day, okay? It's been very rangy. We had um, GDP data that came out, and then we've been in a range. We've been in a roller coaster range. Yes, well done, Federico. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so it's a big trade. So today is a difficult day to trade within a range. So you've got to go down, say for example on ES, you've got to go down to one minute because the trading opportunities on five and three minute are just not there, okay? We're in a tight range on ES, we're coming down. Okay, we had the open, it uh, crapped itself for a while, then we came back up above this support and resistance zone. Back up to yesterday's close in the open, back down, back up, back down, back up. It is a roller coaster, okay, but it's in a narrow range. So you've got to go down the time frames and probably look at one minute to trade these on, uh, you know, roller coaster bits, that sort of thing. So, you know, you've got to follow the motion of the ocean. So the uh, open was here, allow the first 15 minutes. Then on the one minute, Really great looking trade here. Just coming back out through that support resistance zone on the roller coaster. Okay. At this point in time, I wouldn't have added the bits here. Why? Because we've got yesterday's close and open to act as resistance. So we've not got enough fresh air. Okay. These ones weren't triggered. And then we came down again. You're not going to trade the bits into support. Okay. We get a roller coaster coming back up and out. Wasn't brilliant. We come back out, we test support again, okay. Then we come back up, we start to get some bit signals here. Let me just remove these a second. Remove drawing, oops. Okay, so then we get bit signals coming up here and they go for it like a rocket. So first trade in this move was a roller coaster. We're coming down. <coughs> we are uh, getting longs when we are just going from bearish to bullish. But then we get some uh, bit signals when we've got the bullish bias and we go for it. So in today, if you were just trading ES on the one minute, there was a good roller coaster move, uh, roller coaster move that failed, or in fact, it posted a, a risk free just there, look. Okay, and then some nice little bits uh, to push, push it back up to that previous resistance zone. Yes, they're very, very good. Okay. Um, you just got to be, uh, you know, I, I didn't trade, uh, you know, I did a bit of trading to begin with and I've just been in the pool swimming and, and chilling out really. Um, so 
you know, this was, to be honest, if I'd have stayed around, maybe that would have been a good trade, to be honest. I would have traded that one. Uh, I would have had another go at this one. It was break even in the end. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. I wouldn't have gone short because we're going into support. Um, but let me, before we do anything, I need to... I just took off all the old drawings by mistake and I just realized all the support resistance zones have gone. So I want to restart that. And hopefully they're back on because that will really annoy me. Yes, they're back on. Phew. So if you ever do anything by mistake on think or swim, just go to the setup and reload the workspace. Okay. Otherwise it can be very, very annoying. I just want to go to a stock, guys. I've been in this short for quite a while. I'm very patient, okay? MBCR short. At this stage, it was a way for pullback, uh, and I went short here. And then it went range bound, okay? Uh, we've had some roller coaster signals here. It's come back up, it's come back down. But then the last few days, what do you do? Coming down to break this support gets a bit signal short here. You can add to your short position and now look, it's broken this pivot today. This thing's gonna fly. So again, patience. This trade was entered at the end of April. Okay, end of April. Despite the massive bullish move in the markets, this has really hasn't responded. So no panic, be patient, let it come down. Add to your position yesterday with a bit signal. Now we're 100% profit times risk. Now we can start to think about making this risk free, just over $66 there. Another one I'm in right now, Triple D, again. Entered this on the roller coaster here. Despite those bullish markets, only came back up to test this resistance zone, never really, really gave it any trouble whatsoever. Then starts to come down, bit signal there to add to your thing. And now look, it's just started to print the risk free trading stop on the roller coaster. And we've got a bit signal here to go short again at 654. So I can add to my short position. If it goes through 644, 643, uh, I'll be using the bits to add to my short position to go down. But I've been risk free now. My stop is below the entry. No, it's a stock, Jay. There's no rollovers in stocks. Have a look at LVS for Trevor. I take it you're already short in this, Trevor. No problem, Jake. On the roller coaster short. Cool. It's just printing the trading stop today here, look, okay. My suggested entry would have been outside of here at 47.36. So you're going to have to wait for this to print now. But to be honest, I, I think if, you, I, my, if my entry was 47.36, uh, a 47.15 trading stop now would be sensible above the high of this pivot here. Uh, it, ha it has tested this support zone today. Notice I said last week, once it starts to try and attempt to go through this 50, Usually we start to print those trading stops. So that looks good. Good looking trade there. KO. Wow, this is double trouble. Okay, so uh, we're just through today the um, roller coaster, but we also have a bit signal here. Okay, so 43.92, where I've where <laughs> got my entry anyway, uh, is where we should be. Okay. Bits and roller coaster indicating shorts here. I haven't got the bubble on the bits because it's my stock uh, setup. Um, but roller coaster and bits telling us to go short. 
that's a sign. That's a sign from up above, okay? Wow, we've got a lot of people in today. We've got those ding dings. Yes, well, I wouldn't be interested in a long if we're in this horrible, horrible uh, range today. So today is the day where Elliott Wave won't work either, purely because we are not trending, okay? We're roller coastering, <laughs> if you like, okay? Where, uh, again, so, so understanding which indicators work in which markets, so bits of breakouts, they'll work in all markets as long as there's some volume and we're going somewhere. A roller coaster works extremely well either to get early in a trend or when we're, we're actually moving up and down in a range for the day or the week. Okay. An Elliott wave works when we're trending and we pull back against a trend. So we've got to just understand that these indicators give us opportunities in different market conditions, but also we can use, com we can combine them together to get better trading opportunities and add to our positions. So let's have a look at gold. So gold on the three minutes today. Yeah. Pre-market session here. I think we traded this one long. I can't remember. I think we did, and we traded short as well. Um, so we've gone up, we've come down, we've gone up, we've come down, we've gone up. So three roller coaster trades. There was another one this morning. I traded that one uh, during the European session. So today, the three minutes in the groove, okay. But what's there other trading opportunities on um, on the bits today as well? Let's have a look on the same time frame. To be honest, roller coaster is the strategy today purely because we're going up and down within a in a range. So again, recognizing that we're going up and down in a range, you wouldn't take a bit short going into a previous support zone. You wouldn't take a bit short going into a previous support zone. Okay. This is going up and down. It's not trending. So you wouldn't, you've not got enough fresh air. Let's draw that in just to make it very, very clear. Okay. Before the US markets opened, those were formed. Okay. We've got a support level there. Remember, when you've got any signal, you need fresh air, you need good risk reward. If you've not got a good risk reward, you don't trade it. <coughs> We've come from these lows. We've come back down. We've traded roller coaster. We've got a bit signal here. No risk to reward. Don't trade it. We've got a bit signal short here. No risk to reward. Really? There's a little bit of a want, but not a lot. The same here. We don't go. Now we're getting long signals. We've got this one here. We could get a reasonable risk to reward to that one. Later in the day for me, already made the money on gold. Walk away. Okay. There are some opportunities here, um, but for me, I, I have this, uh, um, this Gartley pattern formed, and this is a resistance zone forming for a short. Okay, and these are my short um, target zones for a short. Okay, so I've actually completed this harmonic pattern right in the predicted zone. So I'm really reluctant to go long on here. Okay. Now these probably will be available by the end of the year. I uh, don't know if anybody uses harmonics, but they are very, very powerful. Uh, this one's automatic. So this one recognizes uh, different types of harmonic patterns as well. Um, so gold is the main one today by the looks of it. But uh, if I go to gold on the, on the one minute, You see gold on the one minute today. Absolutely freaking awesome. Okay. Look at these. I mean, this, this is another Gartley long. 
And look at this, Gartley long into the support zone, get a roller coaster long, go long. Look at this today on the roller coaster today. One, two, three trades all winners, four, five, six trades, six out of six, not bad. Yeah, we get the butterfly, there's a butterfly as well. Um, It's about five different patterns, but obviously it's what's presenting at this moment in time. Yeah, butterfly, you see the butterfly in the 60 minute here. Butterfly looks labeled the butterfly. It needs to come down to this support here, gold, uh, to look for the long out of the butterfly pattern. Uh, so if we're getting short signals coming down below this support zone here, we know it's got some room to run on the 60 minute there as well. Um, you know, so yeah, it's, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, it will be for Think or Swim and Trading View to begin with, I think. Uh, crab pattern there, look, as well. You go long after the pattern's completed and you go long. Uh, so yeah, quite excited about that. Restore that. So no, it's something I'm bringing out, Jay. It's going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be trade to fit. It's me person. It's it's personal to me. It's going to be more like a Shopify for trading add-ons, uh, and it will have um, uh, automatic harmonics. Um, it will have, where is, oh, that's the one minute, isn't it? Uh, it's going to have an opening range trades. These, um, these, this New York thing here, this op opening trade, it's going to, I'm going to have another one in there that's going to identify um, candlestick patterns, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, when it comes out, Trevor, it won't be till Q4. So Jamie, for stocks, we have two scanners. We, the only thing we can't try, uh, scan for is Elliott Wave at the moment. Um, so just bear with me a second. I just see that gold is going on a long, I'm not gonna trade. Um, so let's go through on the website. So on the website here, you'll see smart lists. So on the roller coaster, we have a stocks scanner, okay? And the membership basically scans all stocks that trade over $10 in value, over 500,000 shares a day that present a uh, roller coaster on a daily time frame, okay? And it scans them and puts them in live. It also keeps them on there and gives you the, um, the trading stock position, okay? To keep going. So. BAC was one that, that came on uh, before the session today. Cisco short as well. Let's have a look at Cisco short there. I'm not seeing that one today. So look. So there, there you go. Look. So Cisco uh, on the scanner. Around about 7 a.m. EST, the scan is run. And Cisco came out on the scanner there, look. Uh, with the lightning bolt, short 44.80, 46.52, the stop loss. COP was another one. And there it is on the chart. So basically that scans for all potential um, swings, okay, so it's in the daily time frame on the roller coaster for, for stocks, okay. Now, uh, COP was another one. You've just got to make it part of your morning routine to go through any new trading opportunities. This one was another one today, look, okay, it triggered, boom. Um, and then we have, so that's for the bit, the smart list uh, for roller coaster, sorry. And then we have a similar one for bits, but you build this one out. So if you've got a specific number of stocks that you want to trade that are in the right price bracket for you sort of thing, okay, 
Uh, so we go to bits, we go to swing trading, uh, and these are some of the stocks that I, I trade. So you'll get a signal on these and you can, you can unfollow, you can add stocks on there, that sort of thing. Uh, and so, you know, these are what we look at for potential breakouts, for example. Uh, there was a short breakout on Walmart uh, on a BIX at 119.08. Let's have a look at that, for example. Uh, Walmart. Okay, that never triggered. These did, though. Uh, what other one? IBB was a new one. Okay. IBB. So basically, on the on this one, you can add and take away stocks. So, for example, I can add another one. Let's add. Um, let's see. Um, WPM. Okay. I can follow that one, and it adds it down on the bottom. So if there's a bit signal that comes out on the daily time frame, okay, um, again, 7 a.m. the next morning, look for the new signals, you'll, you'll get a little lightning strike there to say, yeah, there's a potential breakout on WPM. No, Frederico, these signals give you the signals on the strategy. You still have to do a little bit of work on the support and resistance zones, okay? <laughs> I'm not doing everything for you, otherwise it costs an absolute fortune. <laughs> so, yeah, my, my inner circle get access to all of this stuff, so they, they call out, and I know, Matty, you, uh, I think you're in this at the moment are you in one of these trades today aren't you from your list was it qbh not sure no it's going to be an add-on trevor it's not going to right let me explain it this is my idea and it's not uh fixed in stone yet I'm going to, separate to the indicators, the indicators are strategies, okay? Add-ons are a different thing. These are things that make your life easier. So harmonics, candlestick patterns, um, support and resistance zones, pivot points, all those things are different add-ons that will be part of a, what I'm thinking of, it's a bit like Spotify. So you'll pay an annual fee and I'll just keep adding add-ons to it uh you know two or three a year it'll start with maybe six and i'll and you'll just pay the same price each year and you'll have access to those add-ons okay uh and i'll just keep adding to them uh, because there's loads of little tricks and and things that i i can get developed and put into these add-on type memberships so it will be uh be more like spotify you'll pay a fixed fee but more music gets added all the time and the same with um, with this add-on club, if you like. Um, it won't include the indicators because they're strategies. These will be add-ons like harmonic patterns, candlestick patterns, all that sort of stuff. Um, so, and I'll just keep adding to it because I've been in this game so long, I've got all these great ideas, but you can't charge a lot of money for each one. So why don't we group them, put them in a, a like a Spotify type membership, uh, for trading view or for think or swim or for ninja trader or whatever and you just pay each year and as i add them you just get access to them okay uh oh amazon on the five minute day trading amazon wow okay let's have a look at that that's a new one um amazon why didn't that work Ah, 
Ooh. Okay, so let me just add Ellie Wave. Let me add uh, Osprey Grand Stochastic, Oscillator, just want to put the bias in the Stochastic, click Apply. Mm. Probably need a 15 minute to have a good look at that for a second. Just going to 60. Let me get rid of some of these. not come quite deep enough on the 60 minutes oh, you know what I'm interested in Amazon for a we do short-term swings in the um, in a circle sort of we put them on Monday or Tuesday but if this can come up above 2750 I'd be interested in and riding that one up there so let's have a look on the five minute, but just keep an eye on, on Amazon on the 60 minute guys. That's looking pretty hot, that pullback. I like it. Um, not quite there with the stochastic and the oscillator yet. So I think it's got some more time to come and probably gonna come down and test this cluster here. So around about 2,700 most likely again. Let's have a look at it on the five minutes. Oh, roller coaster short forming on the five minute there. If you're going to look at Elliott Wave, you've got to look at the lows of today. 784. So I've isolated. That's where you've isolated. Uh, Amir, which looks good. Uh, the 535 still got some work to do, so has the stochastic, okay? Uh, not everything is pretty at this moment in time. I like to gauge what the market's, to. Apple's green for the day, that's interesting. Um, so, um, all more volume coming in. Again, this is combining the indicator suites really good here because remember on the bits, we look for increased volume. So, down candles, are with low volume are gray, uh, sorry, cyan. Now we've just had a down candle that's turned red. So for the first time in one, two, three, four candles, the volume started to increase, but to the downside. So this wave four could fail, in fact. Now it most likely might come down and test this sort of level. Right now, though, I've got to be thinking about this is going to come deeper. The volume is coming down. I look at NASDAQ. I look at ES. Okay, I'll bring those over from another screen. Where are they? That's important if you're day trading Amazon. They've come to test those highs of that range again. We've got increased volume to the downside, NASDAQ and ES. Okay. Will you be looking for that long right now? Okay. You won't be looking for a long if these indexes have found the resistance at the top of that range again and going to come down. Yeah, so you've got to be understanding what's going off in those indexes. It could be a good fifth wave move, but I think it's probably going to come down and test all of this horrible cluster down here. Um, but for me, I, 
I've got to keep an eye out on those indexes. Are they going to get a high support level on this on this move down right now? Uh, they're moving within the range. It's going to be a very difficult long trade. It could find great support and go. Okay, uh, I'm probably more interested. What does it look like on the three minutes? Yeah, it's already in the roller coaster on this way for pullback. Switch to three minutes. Um, I'd have taken this short here as well because I, I, I know um, this is probably going to come down and test the red zone again. Um, that was a good short there. 273.898 and the low was 2734. Well, that was a good move. No problem, Amir. But if this, let me just change that to green. You, when you're day trading stocks, don't forget to go to three minutes. It smooths things out. Um, also, whoops, look at regression trend channel from that wave three pivot to your wave four pivot. You can get more of an aggressive entry. So this is the scenario now. We're keeping an eye out on ES and NQ. If they find a higher support zone on this pullback right now and start to head back up again, and we get, uh, a, you know, stochastic's good, 535's good. Uh, the 6-4 moving average high is pretty high there. But I've got my regression trend channel coming down here. I've got my opening price. So in theory, if these indexes start to turn up, I'd put my stop under this wave four. I'd be going long above the opening price. Okay, look left, any shoulders, not really. It's outside of this, uh, the uh, regression trend channel entry. And I'd be above the lagging point control. So maybe a 27409, something like that. Risk reward to the fifth wave target zone is one to two, fantastic. Risk reward to the high of the day so far, one to 1.45 ish. Okay, that looks pretty good trade. So don't just just you know resign yourself to that five five minute. Go to three minute. If these indexes are turning back up and they are trying to right now, let this candle close. If it does, that looks like a pretty good day trade to me. But again, those indexes are near those highs. They've pulled back a little bit, so you've got to keep an eye on what's going on there. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Coolio. Okay. That's a good example. I like that. I really do. Um, I mean, not everything is pretty guys okay this isn't pretty at all uh, but it's respected the rules keep just don't focus on all the mess one two three four five thirty five good stochastic good got a nice regression trend channel there got a higher support zone than these two here uh, sensible entry above the opening price that candle has closed now on that three minute. Uh, we're still looking like we're pushing down at the moment on the indexes. So it's not something I would put on right now, but um, you know, let's see what happens in the, in the future. You know, gotta be in it to win it. Yes. Yeah, for me, Frederico, I think it does. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, stocks have a good run into the end of the session sometimes, okay? Um, so, an example of what could happen, okay? 
okay. Uh, just because you're drawing a chart doesn't mean it's going to happen. But okay, we come down. We get a slightly higher support. We come up. We come up. We get a close above uh, the the open, if you like. Now, once we get a close above the open, you would just go along above that close, okay? Or the high of that. Then you'd put a, a stop limit order on to buy um, that. I mean, obviously, if you get a trade options, it's different. Um, uh, for, C, for CFDs, again, Federico, I think you're in um, Barcelona, you'd be trading uh, stocks with CFDs, which are a lot easier. Amir, what are you using to trade stocks? Are you using physical options, CFDs, spread betting if you're in the UK? Um, yeah, okay. Options, yeah. Yeah, for stocks, CFDs, uh, if you're in Europe, are a good option. They're easier than options, <laughs> I must admit. How did um, KBH do? Oh, it's gone flat, very flat. Oh, stuck in Argentina. Yeah, lockdown. I'm stuck in Spain with my pool, so I'm fine. When you're back in Barcelona, Frederico, give me a bow. Come down to the Costa del Sol. We'll, we'll share some Tinto de Verano. BA. BA was the other one, wasn't it? That's it, yeah. Oof, yeah, looking pretty ugly today. It's a rangy day, though. You can't gap and run on a rangy day. So, guys, um, again, it's, I, I like to show you examples that I've traded, but I didn't, didn't really trade much today. <laughs> okay. Um, so, because it's just not to do it, not really good. Hey, 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 hey. Uh. Mm, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't invest. Um. Hey, hey. It, it, it is a really great swing trading stock roller coaster. AAL, you mean? Yeah. Whoops. Oh, I'd be going short right now. Fifth wave move and a roller coaster. Nice type stop. What's the risk to reward there? Stop 1717. 17. We need to be going short now. We're probably below the low of today, 1210. Risk to reward to the fifth wave target zone, which is $4. This, okay, um, is one. To 1.6. Let's have a look at that tomorrow, Matty, because I am trading tomorrow. Um, oh, which reminds me, guys, I'm going to give you all a link. I'm trading live tomorrow on the Trading View platform. It's live streaming. Um, so.
hey, some of these airlines are going to go bust, okay, and, or, or be bought out. So I'm going to be trading tomorrow uh, using the TradingView platform uh, tomorrow, and that is the link to the live stream tomorrow. It starts 8.30 a.m. EST, an hour before the U.S. markets open. I'm not going to go heavy trading. I just want to, um, I've agreed with TradingView that once a month, last Friday of the month, I'll go live, live stream, and use our indicators and our smart lists to, to try and get some trades. Okay. So tomorrow, you click, click on that link, and you can join me, if you wish. I don't usually trade Fridays, but uh, tomorrow is an exception. So AAL could be, I don't like to put a swing trade on a Friday though. We'll see what the price actually is tomorrow. Not a fan of trading on a Friday. Okay, does anybody want me to look at anything else, guys? Uh, this is, or discuss how to combine the, the indicators, because this is your chance. I say this every week. It's your chance to ask me the questions and for me to answer them, okay? These are my strategies. The, the indicator suites have developed from my strategies for the last 17 years it is now, whatever. Um, you know, if I don't know it, nobody knows it, okay? Um, so now's the time to ask me the questions. Uh, if you've got them, I can go and have my dinner, go and sit by the pool outside, have a couple of beers and chill out. I've took some painkillers from my abscess, so uh, that's feeling okay now. Um, so just let me know, guys, um, you know, is there anything? Who's thinking of going on this gold short here? Oh, my Lord. There is a gold roller coaster here. As I said before, this Gartley pattern has found the target. This 386 Fib retracement from the target is just round about, you see how it found support there? Oh my, I can't, I've got to do it. Ah, it's too late, too late. Too late. Can I get an entry there? 71, 77, 90. 1770 90. Gonna go micros, gonna go micros here because we've had the harmonics pattern finish. We've got the entry through uh, the uh, roller coaster, but also we've got uh, through the fib zone as well. 70.9, I've got an entry. Yes, index futures as well, but I, I've stayed away from indexes this week. I'm abstaining this week. Um, well, today, Sita, uh, we are in a we on a range, and we're going up and down in a range. So, um, you know, I will look at that range. Let me just put the stop in there because I obviously going to let that run. Uh, that stop is a seventy four three. Seventy four three. Okay, just put that stop in there. So for me, I've got a. Um, you know, oops, I've got to think this thing's been in a range all day and it's been going up and down in the range. And on this three minute time frame, the roller coaster hasn't had a losing trade. Sod's law is the one I'm in right now has a losing, is a losing trade, but I'm going up and down this range. And if I get a signal and I'm, you know, right now, what you've got to think about is the range that has been formed today Okay, we are getting uh, these lower resistance levels. 
So the bias in theory is bearish anyway, because we're getting those lower resistance levels. So when we come up, we come down, we come up, we come down, we come up, we come down. So this move might not be as big as this move here, but we have a 100% win rate today on three minute on gold, okay? We, we, we've made a good high. I've got the addition of this Gartley pattern completing, okay? Um, I'm a little late into this trade, to be honest. Um, but I, my next level is the 618 retracement. So this, this harmonic uh, pattern, this Gartley pattern, from the zone here, we get 386, the 618, and 100%. These are my targets for the short uh, on this gold roller coaster. So as you can see, what I'm doing is, uh, I'm not to say this is going to win a, or anything, but what I'm doing is combining now some knowledge on harmonic patterns uh, with the roller coaster here. So, you know, fourth quarter this year, look out for uh, my new invention, if you like, this, um, this add-on club, if you like, where you'll get the add-ons like these automatic harmonic pattern uh, identifying uh, tool. They'll get, there'll be candlestick patterns in there, opening ranges, pivot points, fib levels, that sort of thing. These are all going to be useful to, uh, um, to help you look in for those trades. Okay, start bar. They're automatic, Frederico. <laughs> it's cost a lot of money to develop. I need a lot of members. So what happens is when this Gartley pattern is completed, it prints these fib levels for me. Yeah. Okay. So um, you're at the start bar. Okay. So we're going to go and look at this is three minutes. What I want to do is I'm going to look here. So you see this. Let me just highlight the box. It's easier to do that. This box here, okay. When when I move my cursor, the bar number counter changes. Can you see that? So, what I want to do is I want to see where the start bar is for the current trend. Okay, there's not a great trend going off at the moment. So, but this is just an example. So I'm looking at these overnight highs. This is just after the European Open this morning. That is 656, okay? So I'm going to go to my earlier wave. I'm going to change that to 656. I'm going to click OK, click Apply. And what it does is starts the wave count from your start bar, okay? So we'll go back. So now you've woke up in the US morning. You've seen an, uh, an overnight high. You wake up around here gets the low, starts to come up, and it just counts automatically. So this is the bearish trend. It's been quite corrective. We've found a low. We've pulled up. We've had a little wave four here. Not fantastic. Like I say, it's not trending today. No, no, no alert for these. Um, so, you know, you need to look, if you're trading futures, you need to look at... Um, recent lows, for example. Um, even during the day here, we've had quite a deep pullback to form a double bottom. Okay, so I know it's higher than these, but what if, what if this double bottom was the start of a new trend and this is going to go up, for example? So I can move my cursor to there, and that's 786, so I can go to 786. Because you need to identify the start of a trend. It's difficult in a day like today, um, because we're not really trending. 786, click OK, click Apply. Let it do its magic. This is version 3, Trevor, exactly what you're using. I've got a lot of other stuff on there as well, so just ignore that. Okay, so we can see, because I isolated these lows, we've had an ABC correction, not really had a trend yet. And that ABC correction was the last part of that Gartley. Okay, it's freaky stuff, this, I'm telling you. 
Um, let me just take annotate eight all drawings. Okay. So again, does that answer your question, Gerard? You've got to understand where the start of the trend is. We are not trending today. So that makes it a little bit more difficult. Uh, no, are you using Think or Swim, Trevor? If you've isolated at this low here, it should print that ABC in theory. Yeah, it can be confusing when we're in a range because we are not trending and we're not pulling back against a trend. Um, so, you know, some days we're trending and it works very well. When it's not trending, we're looking for the roller coaster in particular to help us trade all the bits to look for breakout because we really, if we're not trending, we're not going to pull back against that trend. Um, you know, so this up, down, same support level is not a trend. Okay. All I would say is be patient because they will present themselves. The first thing in the morning when you wake up for futures and I'll do it tomorrow live. Okay. I'll go through some of the futures and I'll identify where the start of the trend is, okay? I isolated Trevor. Hang on, hang on. Here, this, this low candle here. Now look on the one minute, look on the one minute. We've got a bits forming on the one minute now. So if you've gone short like me, two contracts on the micro, once this one minute candle is uh, complete, if you like, okay, you can then at uh, 1769.70, in theory, add another one. If it breaks the stop, though, don't do it. Trevor, I'm not looking. Look at the. I'm not going to look at the daily on on futures because I haven't got a daily chart available right now, and it can just mess things up. But it's the same with the daily. You need to identify the start of the trend. Yeah, 618, 69.5 is probably a good target here. Also, on the one minute, you'll notice that there is another roller coaster that's already formed. So, if this does start to run and you're getting a little bit wary, it's not printed a trading stop yet to go break even, but we print one on the one minute, this would just be an, a more aggressive stance to trading that roller coaster trade that, that short if you wanted to make it risk free as soon as you could, sort of thing. Okay. Uh, that's very difficult uh, to do, uh, but it does happen. This is a little bit whippy for me, actually. I'll tell you why, because I'll switch to the US dollar, we are at support. We're testing this support on the US dollar again, okay? So 
so we'll see what happens there but yes so on my top right hand chart on my other computer on the screen there i'm always keeping an eye on the us dollar to see what it's doing Right, the, lear the, the original, the, the initial learning process is to watch the boot camps, okay? And then on the, on the website, we have uh, all of these webinars are recorded. So every Thursday, I either do a webinar on Elliotway, on Bits, on Roller Coaster, or on all three, yeah? So there's lots of recordings there with lots of examples, and then obviously attend the live ones. Just take it easy, Jure. So, you know, just don't, don't think that you have to start trading live straight away. Uh, take your time, uh, paper trade, get into the groove, if you like. No, they pretty much work the same on, on, all, on all ones, you know, uh, you know. Uh, I would say sometimes the, you know, I'm still getting used to TradingView, but TradingView is a cloud-based platform, so it's better than TradeStation because it doesn't lock up. Okay, that is the, one of the biggest uh, advantages with TradingView against TradeStation, because TradeStation and Think or Swim, if you like, is old technology nowadays. Okay, um, but you know, if you are familiar with TradeStation. Uh, I would say get it for TradeStation. Otherwise, you've got a whole lot of another learning to do on top of learning the strategies. Uh, and that can be quite daunting as well. Um, so you just need to make sure when you're on TradeStation that you're not looking back too far. So if you're day trading on futures, you need to be looking back no more than two days. Otherwise, it, it, the data grinds the platform to a halt. Uh, yes, you have, I mean, for me, I've got 10 monitors, okay? Uh, so, um, on, so you see this monitor here, but I've got lots of other monitors on different time frames, so I can see what's happening and understanding. Those alarms are the smart list giving me signals uh, so we have the smart list we have the bit smart list uh, and we have the roller coaster smart list on for futures uh, and what it does when a new when a new signal comes up it goes ding 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 and it says there's a bit signal on the three minute uh, on 6c going along okay there's another one okay uh, that is for bonds on the one minute on uh, the roller coaster. There. Okay. So that's the smart list are on, uh, on the website. Okay. They are live signals with live data. It is a subscription service. Let me just go and find it for you. Um, so when you go to the homepage, You're looking for trading signals and then either roller coaster signals on futures or you go to the bits, okay? Roller coaster or bits. And then what you do is once you once you remember, okay, you can pop them out. You can change the time frame 60, 30, 15, 5, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we'll go for 15 minutes, we'll change it to dark. And then I can move that around all the different screens and computers uh, and it'll give me a signal live. Okay. It's pretty cool. Really, really like it. Um, we are um, very proud of it. The next uh, development is uh, the ability to hide some of these if you're not training them. So, uh, so again, they are there and they are very, very useful. So this gold is uh, gold trade isn't really moving just yet. We are looking like we're very close to printing a uh, trailing stop on the one minute roller coaster. So I'm just going to keep an eye on that. 
um, which will allow me to make this trade risk free. Okay. Uh, in fact, I'm going to do that now, just, uh, just for the sake of it. So all I do on my uh, dome is grab hold of that, put it at 1778 risk free. I can go and have my dinner and just let it run. Okay. Uh, I've got two contracts, so I could take one off at 618, uh, then let the other one run to see if it'll come down to the bottom. But the main thing is I'm risk free now. Okay. Uh, on the one minute, you'll see the roller coaster entry here. This is the lagging point of control, uh, which will print the trailing stop once it gets level with there. And that will print it at 77.70.7 70 to begin with. Uh, so, you know, these one minutes, but I'm risk free already because I'm going to get going now because my dinner will be ready. Um, so, um, so that's it guys. It was a great session. Um, some good examples. Um, so have a great weekend, everybody. Those that are, uh, available tomorrow, one hour before the markets open, 8.30 AM EST. Um, join me live on trading view, live streaming, and we'll see if we can't get a couple of trades. Thank you, Jamie. Trevor. Uh, I don't know, actually. Surprise. It's a surprise. Whatever my wife's cooked me. Thank you, everybody. Take care, and hopefully I'll see some of you tomorrow. Cheers, everybody. Bye-bye.